So sometimes when you get products into review and then you send them back, they're not immediately released afterwards. And that's what happened in this video. This video was filmed over a year ago and it was in one of my old offices. And it was back when I was still using my Panasonic GH3. So that's why things are gonna look a little bit different. My hair is just not working today. I'm gonna go grab a hat, hold on. Okay, that's better. So if you shoot on a Micro Four Thirds camera, like in my instance, the GH3, but I know a lot of people shoot on cameras like the Blackmagic Pocket 4K and the GH5 still. And one of the biggest frustrations for me at least as a Micro Four Thirds shooter is having lenses that are actually wide and decently fast. And that's where this little lens is gonna come in. So all the footage that you just saw came from this Laowa 10 millimeter T 2.1. Now this is a brand new lens by Laowa and they were nice enough to send it out to me, but they're not paying me at all for this review. I have to give this lens back and these are gonna be my honest and unbiased opinions. So when it comes to wide angle lenses for the Micro Four Thirds system, there isn't really a lot of options. You have the Panasonic 7 to 14, which is pretty slow and very expensive. You have a couple 12 millimeter options, but those just aren't as wide as this. And a lot of the really good wide angle lenses from Olympus and Voigtlander are insanely expensive and very big. But that's where this little 10 millimeter T2.1 comes in. And this is a lens that I was actually really looking forward to reviewing because I've used the 7.5 millimeter Laowa before and I really liked it, but it was almost too wide. Like it was almost a fisheye without any distortion, which was kind of crazy. This is a much more practical lens if you ask me. This is the cinema version of this 10 millimeter. They are gonna have a regular photo version as well. So this one has gear rings on the aperture and the focus ring. The focus ring feels really nice, like it's dampened, so it's not just gonna move focus very easily. That might change over time, but the aperture is declicked, which is nice, and it is a T2.1. So this is a pretty bright lens for being so wide. I typically don't care that much about sharpness, but if it's sharp to my eye, unless it's insanely noticeably soft, then I don't really care that much. This lens seems very, very sharp. I don't have another 10 millimeter lens to compare it to, but for a wide angle lens, this is really good. It's such a small lens, so it's very unintimidating, but that also makes it great because it's so light, and if you wanna fly this on a gimbal, it'll work perfectly. This, I would say, is a perfect gimbal lens. So if you're on the Micro Four Thirds system and you're into vlogging, then this Laowa 10 millimeter is a perfect solution. There isn't really a lot of super wide angle lenses for the Micro Four Thirds system, so having something that gives you a nice wide field of view is really crucial if you're into doing this type of walk and talk vlog style shot. I have a Gorillapod on my GH3 right now, which is helping me extend it out a little bit more, but even if I didn't have this, it would be pretty easy to just hold my camera out and still get myself nicely framed. But yeah, as long as you're okay with manual focusing, all I had to do was just, you know, tap my screen and that magnified it for me. And then I can just manual focus, make sure I'm sharp and I'm good to go. So yeah, vlogging is another use case for this 10 millimeter and I can really see a lot of Micro Four Thirds shooters using this to vlog with or just, you know, for a YouTube lens because it is so wide. And so what I thought I'd do is switch out my Sigma 16 millimeter for this Laowa 10 millimeter because I always like to show you guys what lenses look like in a YouTube style setup like this. So I'm gonna switch from my 16 millimeter, which is giving me about a 32 millimeter equivalent field of view. Then we're gonna to switch to this 10 millimeter, which again is gonna give me a 20 millimeter equivalent field of view. So this is the Laowa 10 millimeter T2.1. This is at T2.1 and my Sigma was at F1.4. So I'm gonna switch myself around a little bit just so I can create a little bit better of a shot. So yeah, this is what the Laowa 10 millimeter looks like on my Panasonic GH3. This is at T2.1. So again, I did have to turn my light up a bit and you're seeing a lot more of my office. You're even seeing a little bit of my key light that I'm using. But yeah, so it's not gonna be as bright, obviously, as my Sigma. But for a YouTube setup, if you have your own lights and you're comfortable you know, lighting yourself, especially if you have a camera that's a little more light sensitive than my Panasonic GH3 is, you're gonna be totally fine. This is what it looks like 
in a YouTube type setup. I'm gonna switch back to my Sigma now because this is a little too wide for me. <laughs> so anyways, all in all, I really like this little 10 millimeter lens by Laowa. I wish I got to keep it. This is such a fun lens to do landscapes and gimbal shots with. And again, if you're into vlogging and you're okay with manual focus, this is a great lens to have and it can really solve that issue that so many micro four third shooters have where they want a nice, small, compact wide angle lens that is bright enough to shoot in lower light situations. This is the perfect lens for that. If you've liked the lenses that Lawa has released in the past, then you're gonna love this little 10 millimeter T2.1 for your Micro Four Thirds camera. Anyways, I think that's all I have for you. I wanna say a big shout out to Lawa for sending this out to me, and I promise I'll be sending it back. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you would like to check out more of my videos, you can click on either side of my face. But until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye.